Welcome our beloved students of MSc second semester. Uh, today we will discuss about the potency, commitment, specification and determination. We know that we uh, start our development from a single cell that is called zygote. And that zygote is able to develop an entire organism that means it has totipotency. So according to the different kinds of potency, the cells are of different types in our development or during our developmental stages. As for example, uh, we have already said that uh, the zygote is totipotent that can produce an entire organism. After that, when the 16 cell stage morula is developed, that is also totipotent. But later, when the blastula is produced, the inner cell mass can produce a number of cells. Rather, it can produce the extra, uh, without the extra embryonic membrane, total embryo proper. But it cannot produce the extra embryonic membrane. That's so why these cells are considered as pluripotent instead of totipotent. After that, the late embryonic stage cells are called multipotent because they have ability to produce a large number of or a variety of cells but not all kinds of embryonic cells. And our adult somatic cells are unipotent because their poten potency is unidirectional, their specificity is fixed. Uh, as for example, we can say that uh, the any, any cell of uh, circulatory system cannot produce uh, the, type, the cells of excretory system or nervous system and so on. So these are all about the different kinds of potency. Uh, this slide also elaborates uh, the different kinds of potency. Uh, totipotent cell is zygote, embryonic stem cell, primordial germ cells are pluripotent, whereas the cells of uh, adult stem cells and cells of gastrula shows the multipotency and the adult somatic cells are unipotent. And we can say that expression of pluripotency gene is more in totipotent cell and least in unipotent cell whereas the expression of lineage specificity gene shows just the reversed pattern okay uh, after that we can say that the development of different kinds of cells from a common progenitor cell like zygote is called as differentiation but in order to be differentiated, cell has to show the commitment. Cell has to show the commitment. And the commitment has two stages. The first stage is called specification. The specification is a very labile stage where the cell fate is reversible. But when the second stage comes, that means determination, the cell fate is fixed and the cell fate is irreversible. So the specification is very much important to be determined and to be differentiated during the period of development. There are three strategies or types of specification and the number one is autonomous specification which is uh, mainly observed in case of uh, most kind of invertebrates where the blastomeres the different plastomeres contain different kinds of transcription factors or cytoplasmic factors and those cytoplasmic factors or transcription factors control the development or fate of those plastomeres. So we can say that the one plastomere is not regulated or controlled or conditioned by its neighboring plastomeres. So their fate is fixed and their cleavage pattern is uh, is, is invariant okay and this is this is autonomous specification after that th this is conditional specification which is uh, the pattern of vertebrate uh, development uh, here a blastomere is regulated its fate depends upon the position upon its position in the embryo its fate is determined by the interactions with the neighboring cells Therefore, if, uh, if a part of cells or if any plastomere is lost, other plastomeres can compensate for the missing part because their cleavage pattern is variable. That's why 
in case of vertebrate identical twin production is possible which is not possible in case of most invertebrates okay so uh, this is the elaboration of conditional specification uh, where we can see that cells of an embryo can change fate based on the conditions within the embryo this is the since ideal uh, since ideal pattern of specification here a multinucleated cell is produced at the early stage of development and the multinucleated cell is called since ideal where the different nucleus or different nuclei possess or they, they are surrounded by different kinds of cytoplasmic factors we know these factors are called morphogenic and so morphogenetic gradient or the concentration gradient of different morphogens regulate the fate of all of the nuclei so uh, here uh, the, the syncytial specification is quite similar to conditional specification uh, because in case of conditional specification uh, we, we see that the neighboring cells regulate here also the neighboring cytoplasmic factors or morphogen regulate the fate of the cells the fate of the nucleus but like autonomous specification here the specification is developed prior to the cellularization therefore therefore the syncytial specification can be considered as a hybrid of the autonomous and conditional specification and this is observed in case of insect classes there are no cell boundaries in the syncytium no and these morphogens can influence nuclei in a concentration dependent manner so at last we can say that uh, we have discussed in very nutshell about the uh, specificity determination commitment and potency and uh, for the details you have to go through the college website where the study material is given for you and in the next session we will discuss about the induction competence and differentiation so thank you very much stay safe